So I had to do this. I had to come down and see how low the water levels are for myself. Everyone's uh, been very much concerned about this. Want the stick, Kenny? Ready? Go get it. Everyone's been very much concerned about this. I could drive my truck down here. I brought my truck just in case. But I see a lot of people here. That made me hesitant to want to do it. So I came down, checked it out first. Nonetheless, uh, people have been, as you can see, uh, driving their trucks through here. So I guess it's not crazy. And I kind of want to do it just so I can say I drove my truck on the Fraser River. Sketched out. Big moose. Getting angrier. Now we can jump off the roof. Here she goes. You never know what can happen. They're going on, you know. Yeah, here she comes. That was pretty close. So I think this is a sign. You know, you can take things like this as a sign of the times, a sign of things to come. Now, I'm pretty sure that's not the stick I threw, Kenny. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. That's more like a tree branch. Our water levels are not going to recover this year. Obviously, there's not enough snow in the mountains. And that uh, milk time is coming. And this will come up some when that does. However, we don't have the volume of snow in the mountains. That we're going to have a really big, high, high river here. Right, so it's the sign of things to come. It's the sign of things because it shows you how dry the land itself is. It doesn't have water to give the rivers. And the fact that there's not a lick of snow to be found in Prince George right now tells me that these kinds of water beds, these creeks, swampy areas, these wetland areas are not going to replenish this year easily, if at all. Right, so it would be a tremendous amount of rain. I think there's a good chance we get lots of rain this year. Uh, if we get into La Nina, however, uh, it would be really hard for this to be solved in one year, this little water. Floods. Since prehistoric time, floodwaters have drowned low-lying areas here where Nachaco meets the Fraser. Springtime floods happen for two reasons. Melting snow melts the Fraser and Nachaco rises because of the Fraser's channel is full. Flooding can occur in winter if ice dams the shallow Nachaco. After the building of Prince George in 1914, the highest known water levels occurred in 1936. A view from Conant Hills showed much of the east end of the city was underwater. In another photo, a police officer on a raft patrolled boardwalk along 3rd Avenue. One year, an ice jam raised the water levels over the railway tracks and locomotives looked like steamers. A major flood almost as high as 1936 happened in 1972. It led to the removal of the community island cache near Cottonwood Island Park. The cache only lasted for 60 years. Floods will always be a part of Prince George's heritage, it says. But not this year. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen him go in the water. <laughs> uh, what a good boy. <laughs> so if the ducks are struggling to find wetlands, uh, what are the fish going to do? Right? You know? How many years of these kinds of fluctuations can we have before it really affects the fish stocks? Hey, you're going the wrong way. Although maybe this isn't that crazy unusual. I'm not sure, but I mean, I've heard people say it's been low before and I'm not sure that's true. Uh, I think it's the frequency of how low the river gets, right? So it's like if, if it continues to have this kind of downturn, every number of years in the future then we have something to be concerned about right and you know if i'm right in what i say that that british columbia wants to become california it's physically changing right now it's it, the, at the environmental level british columbia is drawing out in the interior and becoming more and more oregon like more and more california like and if that is the case then i wonder what will our river levels look like in the future Right, you know, how often will this be normal? So, just interesting things here. It's <laughs> so big, that's the one he chooses. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you sure it's not too big? <laughs> You're so funny, man. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Okay, silly guy. Here you go.
Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. <laughs>